Hi, I'm Suyash Chaturvedi, Program Director at Polari School of Technology, which is India's first strategic launch pad for future technological leaders. So in this video, we're going to talk about the math section, which is a critical aspect of the PAT exam. We're going to talk about why maths, also the topics that are covered, and finally, a couple of exam strategies that you can follow to ace the exam. The way we are going to do this is via answering the most commonly asked questions around the math section. So watch till the end. All right, so here are some most commonly asked questions around the math section, starting with the first one, which is what is the difficulty level of the math section, right? So it is definitely not going to be a cakewalk for sure. But as a general practice, we can benchmark it against the class 10th mathematics, which is most fundamental and practical in nature, right? You can also refer to the sample questions that will be shared with you and you can practice them before you take the actual PAT exam. What topics should I focus on in the math section, right? So starting with number systems, ratio proportion, time and distance, whole numbers, decimal and fractions, fundamental arithmetic operations, percentages, averages, profit and loss, discount, mensuration and trigonometry. You can of course refer to the practice material that is given to you and the sample questions against all of these topics. Next one is how many uh, maths questions will be there? So there will be 30 questions in the PAT exam for mathematics section. Are calculators allowed in the exam? So no, we don't allow calculators. So how can I improve my speed and accuracy in solving maths questions? You get awarded like a minus one. So there's negative marking in PAT. So you get, you get awarded a minus one for answering any questions incorrectly, right? So what I recommend is two things. One, you practice those questions, the sample questions or the sample tests that are given to you before PAT. You practice those questions in a timed format. So put a timer in front of you and try to solve it so that you know you are optimizing for both accuracy and speed. Second, I propose like a 40 second rule. So you dedicate 40 seconds to every question that you are attempting in the PAT exam. So if you're not able to solve a question in 40 seconds, move to the next question. Park it for later, maybe if you have extra time or something. But you know, usually what a lot of students do is they end up spending like three, four, five minutes on one particular question that affects their overall speed and accuracy in a test. So 40 seconds is what you should be, you know, dedicating to a particular question. And if you're not able to solve, move beyond. If you're able to solve, good, move to the next question. All right, so here's another one. Uh, do you provide any practice resources for the math section? So yes, you can refer to the sample tests and the sample questions given to you before you attempt the PAT exam. Um, the kind of questions and the difficulty level of questions in the sample paper is going to be similar to the ones that you get in the PAT exam. So you can refer to the one and you know practice on the similar lines. What is the use of maths in life? tests and especially as an engineer, right? So maths is the foundation for developing problem solving skills, enabling engineers to break down complex problems into smaller manageable components. Further, engineers use mathematical models to represent real world systems and analyze them to predict outcomes, finally to make well-informed decisions. Hence, maths is a critical aspect of the PAT and hence we test you against it. Okay, here's another one. Um, do you need advanced mathematics knowledge for this section? So no, you just need to be well versed with the fundamentals of it and you should know how to apply those fundamental concepts to a question, right? And then finally, speed is obviously of great importance here and accuracy becomes important because you get like a negative mark. But then focus on the fundamentals of these topics, all of these topics. You should be well versed with the fundamentals of it and then finally, you should know how to apply it at a very basic level. As one commonly asked question, uh, how is PAT maths different from JE maths and why do we not consider JE mathematics score? So our core focus is to test you on the foundational knowledge of some of the core principle in mathematics, right? Rather than mugging up some of the complex topics like calculus, differentiation, which have very specific use cases and require a higher order thinking, right? Um, but as a CS engineer, what you're required to do on a daily basis is to, you know, break down complex problems into smaller problems and then find solution, uh, which is something you, that you do on a daily basis. And that's why we assess you on the core fundamental topics in mathematics and your problem solving abilities. That's a wrap for the video, but not for your questions. If you have any doubts, drop them in the comments below and don't forget to take PAT 2025. Phase 1 intake starts this February. 
Stay tuned with us for more details and to call your future.